fellow Diamond Painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to kit up a small project. If you follow the channel, you know that I have been stressing about meeting one of my last couple of goals for the year, which was my Big Ten. I am down to the last two canvases, and I have struggled and finally just admitted that there's no way I'm going to meet the goal. And I was not happy forcing myself to work on a canvas that I really wasn't all that interested in at the moment, which sounds bad, but the reason I'm not interested in it is because it's so huge. I know I wasn't going to get it done and I felt like I was forcing myself to work on it. And after my last whip and chat, I just kind of made the decision that, you know what, I'm doing this to make myself happy. <laughs> and what is the point if I'm making myself miserable, right? So I'm not going to meet the goal. What is the downside of that? I mean, yes, I'm going to be disappointed with myself, but also it was perhaps an unrealistic goal. I should have paid more attention to the size of the paintings that I was doing, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, reasons aside, um, once I made the decision that I was just going to put that one aside for a while and I was going to work on some other things, my husband commented, oh my gosh, you seem so much happier You're actually sitting down, you're working on some things. And I thought, Ugh, I was just making everybody, including myself, miserable. So I'm going to be kidding this up. I've already finished one other small project. And although I could start um, another big project, I'm going to put that on hold. I am going to try and get one more big canvas done before the end of the year, but I'm going to work on this one first because she's really pretty and I'm really digging her orange hair and I just want to see what it looks like when it's finished. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So this is an image I got from, uh, I think GBFKE. I will put a link in the description box below so you can find it. This is an image by Paul Berthon. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, if I can find it, I'll put it across the bottom of the screen there. And yeah, I'm just going to get it kitted up and ready to go. I've got 20 colors. So I'm going to move the canvas aside because I don't need it right at this moment. And I'm going to be kitting up in my favorite QB containers. There is always a link in the description box for these. I love these things, especially for little kits like this where I don't have that many colors but I might have a lot of one particular color because these little cubes even though they're small they hold a lot so that makes them invaluable to me okay so I have already scanned in the canvas and printed it out just on a regular piece of paper my little schematic so I've got all the numbers and the symbols and I've got all my DMC codes. And then I'm just gonna run it through my handy dandy little Xyron sticker maker here. And then I will be ready to start kidding up. You guys, I can't, <laughs> after talking to my husband and he's like, yeah, you just doesn't seem like you're enjoying it. And he's like, in fact, you haven't even really been diamond painting much lately. And I was like, it's because I'm just not feeling this kit right now. It, it's a great kit and I will finish it, just not this year. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I guess I hadn't realized how miserable I was kind of making myself. And so it was kind of a wake up call after he said that because after I made the decision to just kind of abandon that one and move on and, and do some other things, it was, Okay, so now I'm gonna work on this, 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 this. And it was like I freed my brain to kind of move on and think about what comes next. And I had really been kind of stuck on some things because I was trying to make plans for 2023. I've been going through my calendar and looking at events to see what kind of events I wanna do. Of course, I've got my own events that I'll be doing again next year. So mark your calendars for those. I will be doing DP for pets again in June, and I will be doing DP for vets again in November. So both of those, um, I've contacted the lady on Instagram that keeps the spreadsheet, and I contacted 
the Facebook group that keeps diamond painting events. So they should be on both of those so you can find them. But I'll have more information as and when we get closer to the events. Anyway, so I was going through my calendar and trying to pick out what events I wanted to do, what goals I wanted to set for myself next year, and kind of what canvases I wanted to work on. Because I don't want to get myself in a bind next year like I did this year where I suddenly I'm all I've done is big canvases and then I get overwhelmed at the end of the year. Yeah, I want to avoid that. Okay, so I've got all my drills separated out into DMC codes. So let me just put some of these on boxes and then I will get going here. That is not even close to being straight. What am I doing? Okay. I watched somebody else do a kit up the other day and they're like, oh, this isn't straight and it was bothering them. And I thought, oh my goodness, thank goodness it's not just me. I thought maybe it was just me that got bothered by little, little details like that. I try <laughs> to be kind of zen about a lot of it. Um, you know, this hobby is supposed to be relaxing and if it's not, I'm doing it wrong. And I, I forget that sometimes. I get so caught up in thinking about other things and, you know, what I'm going to do for the channel and all that kind of stuff. But my focus needs to be, what, what am I doing that makes me happy? Because if I'm happy doing it and I'm excited about it, then that comes across when I'm doing the videos, right? That's my theory anyway. Okay, number 169. Now, these are not my favorite because these are these tiny little bags and I just feel like they're kind of a pain to open and pour the drills out and all that kind of stuff. But at least they are printed in black this time. Usually they're printed in gold or silver and my poor old eyes just can't read them when they're like that. So happy that they're not that way. And this is all the 310 this particular kit has. You guys, I am so full right now. I went, my daughter, um, and I've got five bags of these, so I'm going to cut these apart so I don't dump all of them at once. I took my daughter Christmas shopping. She wanted some clothes, and you know, once your kids get older, they're kind of picky about what they want to wear and all of that. And plus, you know, if they need to try anything on or whatnot. So I took her shopping and got some clothes for her for Christmas. And then we went out to eat at a barbecue place. And oh my goodness, it was so good. But I am so full. Whew. Probably should have gone and walked around some more just to walk some of it off. Although my son and I went for a walk this morning and it was super foggy. Okay, so I've got four of these, so I'm going to cut them in half again. Let's see, those are caught in between, so those are not going to come out. Okay, I'm getting kind of a mess off to the side here. I put my canvas down, but it's covering up where I put my trash normally, so that's so funny. There's some more, like those are all caught in the in-between sections, so not drills that are usable. Okay, get all those in there. I'm trying to get all my trash off to the side here where it's not going to be in the way. Okay, 524. I've only got two of those. Okay, I'm really excited about doing this picture. I, I don't know what it is that because typically I'm not an orange person so I don't know what it is about these oranges and her hair that's so appealing to me but I've been wanting to do this one since I got it so I pulled her out and thought you know what I'm just gonna just gonna do this one okay so I've got five bags of this let me cut these apart as well Again, trying to cut these and make sure I get them all in there without spilling is sometimes a little difficult for me. 
because I'm not the neatest person doing this sometimes. I don't get enough of these little bags. I buy from so many other places that I just don't see these little bags too often. I think the first time I had these little bags like this, I was doing a kit from Home Craftology, which was a nice kit. It was actually an old Masters one too. It was one of my Summer with the Masters kit a couple years ago, a Kandinsky photo or not photo, but piece of art that he did that they turned into a diamond painting. It turned out really well. I actually ended up framing that one and hanging it. Okay, let's see. What other colors do I have here? Put the rest of the stickers on. I only have 20 colors and I don't think I'm going to need multiple because these squares hold so much, I don't think I'm going to need multiple cubes of one color, but we'll see. I say that and then I'll probably be wrong because that's how it works for me. Okay, there's those. Let me put a couple more of these on here because this is going pretty fast, which is always nice. Okay. these in numerical order, or at least try. Make sure I've got them going the right way, so I've got the opening going the right way. That's always frustrating when I realize I put the stickers on backwards. You can peel them off because they're removable, but then they just, they don't ever lay down quite as good the second time after they've been on there for a while. Okay, okay, I've only got two more colors, so let me just do that and then I can be done with the stickers. Okay, so there's 19 and 20. Okay, let me put some of these back in here in case I don't need those. Okay, 780. I'm trying to watch these as I go. Got five of these again. Watch these as I go and make sure that I'm putting <laughs> the right number in the right place so that I don't end up with some colors swapped around as I have been known to do. Yeah, I can't even believe I did that. I'm so glad someone noticed that on my koala kit, my craftably that I just finished not too long ago. I had swapped the two, well, it was the two grays that were the koala colors, the fur, and I had swapped the dark and light, so the lighting would have been completely off because I would have had the color switched around and had the dark where the light goes and vice versa. Thank goodness someone noticed and told me before I actually started working on the kit because I would have been so upset. That was such a cute kit and I would have been so mad at myself if it had come out wrong because I did something stupid. I mean, I suppose I could have just pulled them all off and then used spares, but... I still probably would have cried because it would have made me sad. All right, didn't cut that one good enough, obviously, because they don't want to get out of there. Come on, there's like one little one stuck in there. Okay, he doesn't want to play, so it's okay. I'm not here to force any drills to participate if they don't want to. Oh, I didn't get that one cut all the way either. Come on. There we go. See, even with how many of these did I have? Six? No, three, seven. And I've gotten all of them into one container, which is always nice. Okay, this is 842. Then I'm into the 900s. I was also excited for this particular kit because I have some washi tape that sort of matches. Has nothing to do with the kit, but I'm not really good at having matching washi tape. I just buy like random rolls of washi tape. I know I could probably get some really fancy washi tape, but I guess I just would rather spend my money on the diamond paintings than the washi tape. 
course I have some very expensive pins, so I probably shouldn't say that. 938, okay, I've got four of these. Just washi tape isn't my thing, I guess. Of course, I don't think I use as much of it as other people do because I use release papers rather than sectioning with washi tape. So maybe that's why I've just never been a washi tape person or at least worried very much about whether it matches my canvas or whatever. Is that something that comes with experience? You've just looked at so many diamond paintings, you're like, I need this to match for me. You guys, I'm excited. Uh, I got a notice finally that my last uh, Black Friday, or well, it's not my last Black Friday, I guess. That one doesn't want to come out either. Okay. I have one Black Friday order that I knew was probably going to be late. And honestly, I wasn't going to get to those for a while. Um, but my other ones, my one order should be here today or tomorrow. And I got a notice today that the second order has shipped. So crossing my fingers that they will be here soon. And I can do my, did I cut that at the other end? No, I can do my, oh, I guess I didn't get it cut all the way. I can do my, um, Black Friday video that I've been planning so I can show you guys what I bought on Black Friday because I haven't been able to do that because I don't have the kits yet. I mean, I guess I could have just showed you pictures of everything, but that seems kind of boring. I'd like to actually show you at least the boxes. I'm not going to open all the boxes, like I said, but oh, I didn't get those cut deep enough either. Okay, hang on. Let me cut this again. So the drills will come out. There we go. That's much better. Okay. What have I got left here? Because I'm making a mess off to the side here that you guys can't see with all of my, over here with all my drills. Okay, 977. I've only got three of these. Let me shake those down. Anyway, so hopefully I'll be able to share those with you guys. So that's coming up. And then also it's getting closer. I know everybody's busy with Advent stuff right now. I've been watching some people doing Advent things since I elected not to do an Advent project this year. But I'm super excited for my 12 days of Christmas to roll around. So not only because I will have fun giving stuff away, but also because that means I get some of this stuff out of my house. I literally have kits all over the floor in my office slash craft room right now because I've gotten several big product reviews that I'm excited. I'm going to be sharing those with you soon if I haven't already. And... So I've got to make room for those kits and all my new buys. And yeah, I'm just excited to see some of them go to people who will appreciate them because like I said, lots of them are kits that I just will never ever get to. They will sit around forever and be one of the last ones I ever do. And what's the point of that, right? Okay, so I didn't need any of my extra stickers. I have everything kitted up now. So I'm going to clean off some of this trash. I will come back and I will show you how I'm going to washi tape the canvas and grab my release paper so I can show you guys that. And I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back with the canvas and it just has the cover sheet on it right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to washi tape it. And I have washi tape that I think matches the browns in it. This is actually washi tape that my husband got me. That's critical role washi tape. It says, how do you want to do this? Which I think is hilarious. Now I am noticing here on the bottom, the tape runs all the way down to here. So I may need to do two passes of the washi tape here on the bottom to get it all completely covered. So yeah, 
because I don't think this washi tape is going to cover all of it. Maybe it did. It did actually cover all of it. Excellent. Okay. So now I will rotate this and do this side. And then I will show you how I put my release papers on. I know a lot of people section theirs with washi tape. I just have never done that. I didn't actually know it was a thing when I very first started diamond painting. It wasn't something I even saw until I started following people on Instagram and realized that's what some people were doing. And I just, when I very first started, not only did I not use washi tape, I didn't have release papers either. I had parchment paper, not wax paper. Very important, don't use wax paper, that's bad. Uh, but parchment paper, and I still have the little sections that I cut up when I was working on, I think it was a peacock that I was doing when I was working on that, and I cut up a bunch of parchment paper into little sections so I could work on it in sections, which I didn't even know was a thing, but I just did for myself because it was the largest painting I had done up to that point, and I was getting overwhelmed. It was quite large. Um, I want to say it was like a 60 by 70 or something like that. And it was one of the first ones that I had done that wasn't like a very small kit. And I was just getting really overwhelmed looking at the whole thing. And I thought, you know, I'm going to section this off with parchment paper so that it won't stick. And then I don't have to look at the whole thing at once. I can section it off and just peel back, you know, this is the section I'm going to work on today. And then, you know, it also helped me feel a little bit more accomplished because I could see what was showing was only the portions that I had completed. And so I felt like I was making progress. Okay, so now I've got it washi tape. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why, my washi tape never wants to stick on the corners. So I have gotten in the habit of over here, on the corners, I will use like a piece of scotch tape and just tape down the corners because when I'm working, my arm rubs on them and then they get to where they're constantly curled up. So I will do that. But first, what a lot of people will do is just leave this cover sheet on and then pull it up and use a cover minder to hold it up out of the way while they work on other sections. You can do that if you want. I prefer to do it this way and I usually start from the bottom and work my way up. But now I'm wondering if I want to start at the top and work my way down. Because then I'm not laying my hands on the drills as I go. And I've not done it that way before. So maybe I'll give that a try this time. Which means if I'm going to start at the top, I want to start laying my release papers at the bottom so that my release papers as I layer them, the ones that are the easiest to get to are on top. And of course my release papers are bigger than the picture. So I just kind of eyeball how I want mine to be. They're gonna be some overlap and that's okay. So there's one section. So I'll peel off this section and work on that. And then I will just do these next ones. And again, like I said, there'll be some overlap here and that's okay. just so that I have it all ready to go. Let me pull this out of the way. And finish putting these on there. I'm actually going to make that overlap a little bit more. Put this one here. And then I've got two for the top, which are not full sections, but that's okay. I will still layer layer them the same way and there we go so now my project has got washi tape it's got my release papers on I've got my drills all kitted up and ready to go so this will be the next little project that I'm working on expect to see her soon once I get her finished that's it for me today guys thanks for hanging around till the end of the video before you leave don't forget to do all the things if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And 
as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.